Hi, my name is Lori Leak, and I made this video to share with other women who would like to deal with their menopausal weight gain. A couple of years ago, I went through menopause and I gained weight and I was very unhappy about it. And I searched and searched for answers. I came across an article about using a glucose meter as a fuel gauge. Since I learned about using a glucose meter as a fuel gauge back in November of 2018, I have learned a lot about blood sugar numbers and then I started refining some of that understanding by adding in also tracking my ketone numbers. So now I test both blood glucose numbers and blood ketone numbers. Mostly I test blood glucose numbers because it's much more expensive to test ketone numbers. The test strips for ketones are much more pricey than the test strips for glucose numbers. I made this video to share with you about what it looks like to test for both blood glucose and blood ketones and how to use that information to make a good guess about what one's insulin level is. And I didn't make up all this information. It's a compilation of over a year of learning, teaching myself through tracking down lots of uh, uh, resources online, YouTube, all kinds of teachers have taught me. And I'm just sharing what I have learned in the one plus year that I've been trying to manage my own weight as a 58 year old woman. I'm about to be to turn 59. How to manage my weight and my long term wellness. At least I hope I may be blessed with long term wellness. I have a better chance because of managing my insulin levels, my glucose levels. Um, anyway, I want to share this with you. I am about to test for my blood sugar and my ketone numbers, so I thought I would share that with you. This is the carrying case where I keep everything. The, um, the keto coach meter and my Dario and the testing strips and an empty case in case I need to dispose of testing strips when I don't have a nearby trash can. I use my phone uh, with my Dario glucose meter and I will use this app here. So now I'm gonna get the Dario out. Um, and take off the cap where the test strips are and pull out a test strip. And I'm gonna pop out the meter. Okay, there's the meter. And that is gonna go in the bottom of my phone. And then the test strip goes in here. Okay, and so I'm going to pick up my, my Dario again. My needle is uh, here under this cap so that you can hear it. Yeah, so I'll cock it again and go ahead and snap myself to draw a drop of blood. Okay, and then pick up my phone and touch the test pipette end into the drop of blood. And when I do that, the meter starts reading. Okay, 88, that's beautiful. I want to add some information about that 88. When I first started tracking my blood glucose numbers, I didn't know what a good target number was for me to hit 
I had to do a lot of reading. I eventually came to decide that getting 85 or below was a really good blood glucose number for me to go ahead and break fast at, but that number is not for everyone. That was just the number I decided to use for myself. So now I'm picking up my keto, keto coach meter and I'm gonna get out a test strip for that. The test strips are individually wrapped. So uh, I peel it back at the notch and pull out the test strip. Okay, so there's the test strip. This is the end that goes into the meter. So I'm gonna pick that up, put that in here, and the meter is blinking a drop of blood there to let me know that it's ready. Now, if I had timed everything well, I could have used the same drop of blood. I don't think, yeah, I have to, I have to do it again, so no big deal. I do it all the time. I'm used to it. So, like I said, I push that button. There. Raises a drop of blood. And then, again, the pipette end gets put into the drop of blood. And it will count up and tell me what my ketones might be if I'm burning any of the fatty acids from fat conversion. Okay, so point three. Um, now, I use the, the glucose number of 88 divided by the ketone number of 0 0.3 to find out what my insulin ratio is. So I'm going to go to my calculator app and type in the 88 divided by the 0 0.3 of ketones that measured and get an insulin ratio of 293. So that insulin ratio is above 200, which means my insulin is on the high side. Where did I get the information about insulin ratios? That comes from a Dr. Annette Bosworth. She can be found online on Instagram and on YouTube. She has lots of YouTube teaching videos. And she goes by Dr. Boz, D-R-B-O-Z. And she credits her insulin ratio information back to Dr. Thomas Seyfried, who wrote a book called Cancer as a Metabolic Disease. Anyway, if you track down Dr. Boz, you can um, hear her story. And... She is one of my learning resources that I've used in the last year. I would really like to get my insulin down into the low 100s, even down to 80 if I want to be guaranteed that I might be peeling off more fat. Um, if I want to build my immune system, I want to get down to a ratio of 40 of glucose divided by ketones to equal 40. And uh, if I had cancer, I'd be shooting down for a ratio of 20. But I don't have a diagnosed case of cancer. I put everything back in my case and I'm ready to zip that up and put it away until the next time when I decided decide to test glucose and or ketones. The ketone testing is a lot more expensive because the test strips run about 60 cents a piece, uh, whereas my glucose test strips out of my Dario, I pay one flat rate per year of $240 and I can test as many times as I want. Sometimes I have tested hourly from morning until night just to see what my glucose was doing and how my food was affecting me. I think this video has gone on long enough, so I will end by including 
a picture of a Facebook page that I run that I share a lot of this information on. And I share because I care. This isn't a business that I have or anything like that. I'm not a personal coach. I'm not certified at anything. I'm just a an older woman that is trying to share with younger women. So uh, I'll put an image of the Facebook page up. It is called Fasting and Feasting by Meter with insulin, math, and a little THM help. And the THM help refers to Trim Healthy Mama. I, I have uh, been using Trim Healthy Mama principles since 2013, and it worked beautifully for me. I loved the, the eating program or the eating style of including all foods, not cutting out carbs, uh, eating fats, proteins, and carbs. And um, I followed the plan very, very closely, 100%. But then menopause hit, and that frequent eating thing, every three hour to four hour spaced out eating time was not working for me. I didn't realize it was because my hormones had changed, and insulin became the dominant hormone in my life as it is for many people.